Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to show you how to use GeoGebra to find the probabilities for a binomial distribution. We can go to GeoGebra Classic, click on Probability, and then uh, instead of Normal, we want to talk about Binomial, and then we want to enter the number of trials that we have. Uh, let's say I want to roll a dice 25 times, and I want to know um, what's the possibility of getting exactly um, seven fours. Um, so I want to look, I can look over here. First I have to enter my um, probability of getting a four. If I roll a six-sided die, that's one out of six. And then I can look at the probability of getting exactly seven, and here it is. Seven is um, right here. The fact that, that I roll seven fours is 0 0.0645. But I might also want to say, what's the probability that I roll um, at most? Um, at most seven. Now, at most means I could roll seven of those. But I could also roll six, five, four, three, two, zero, one. So when I'm talking about at most seven, I'm talking about less than or equal to seven. And that's almost 96% of the time that I would do that. What about if I wanted to say at least seven? If I wanted to say at least seven, then I would be saying that seven is less than, x is greater than seven. So at least seven means seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and that would happen about 11% of the time. Uh, what if I wanted to say I'm going to roll out of 25 rolls, uh, my, the fours that come up are going to be between 7 and 10. That's going to be these numbers over here between 1 uh, and 8. What if I say if I roll uh, a dice that either it's going, I'm going to either have less than 4 fours or more than 12 fours. Then it'll show you the probability for each one added together. It's very unlikely that I would have uh, more than 12 fours and I roll 25 times, but not so unlikely that I would get less than four of those. So that would be the sum of those. So that's how you can use GeoGebra to find probabilities for uh, binomial distributions. Have a fantastic day.